uh, and uh, Steffi uh, also has a particular concern, which is double jointedness, right? How do you how do you say double jointedness in, in German? Uh, hypermobilité. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So where is your hypermobilité? Everywhere, or just yes. just the thumb, or all the fingers, or all your joints, and everywhere? Uh, yes, I think. Okay, yeah. Because to me, sometimes I see the results of that, like somehow something's a little weak or it doesn't work quite right. But sometimes I see a beautifully aligned hand working really wonderfully and doing everything right. And so it's as if you, you because of your hypermobilité, you actually sense yourself more than the average pianist, and by yourself you have arrived at some very good solutions. Mm -hmm. uh, the only thing is, these solutions are not standardized, they're not codified, so you don't now know how to use them in every situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if we could make some sort of, my God, well, what is it you're doing right? What's the underlying principle that helps you to do something really beautifully? And could we then take that principle and use it to, to improve some of the weak spots? Mm -hmm. uh, your hand, I don't know, have you ever seen a videotape of Jirji Shifra? Mm -hmm. Joe, you, should, you must go on YouTube <laughs> or, else, or else buy my film because he's in there too. <laughs> I've got to stop plugging the film. Anyway, anyway uh, his, his thumbs, I don't know any pianist where the thumb is so individuated. His thumb, hmm? and, and as individuated as as Shifra's, very similar. Really, yes. really. That, I, I'll have to take another look. <laughs> so I've seen Fellini live, and, I, and okay, but you know, his thumb is like way out here somewhere, and it looks like like you know a sailboat, and then they have this outrigger with the, the thing to, so that the boat doesn't tip over. His thumb looks like that, right? And yours, your hand reminded me of that very much. So I thought, my God, you know, there's something really good happening here. But of course, he's playing with more power than you are. So you haven't found a way to, for that wonderful position to translate into power. Um, so sometimes you stood up beautifully in your structure. Other times I saw exactly what I, I described for, for Oliver. Oliver's train is in half an hour. I almost mm -hmm. made him miss his train. It's at 5.30, so that's why he's not here anymore. But uh, the thumb coming up here. And you see, the th your thumb is trying to help out her. Mm -hmm. But better that your thumb help herself and she help herself. <laughs> yeah. So, for instance, we're not going to start at the beginning. We're going to jump around. And we're going to investigate the, the sense of the hand being not only delicate and agile, because her finger work is very nice, but with a sense of power. Not power like this, but power. You need it. We all need it. So I would like to take...